Daddy is home from buying some smoke, getting some milk, just like Toji Fushiguro. Apparently, Mash has a dad from Innocent Zero. His name is Innocent Zero. Now, the fight between Mash and Margaret was amazing. I'm still waiting for the moment where Mash actually takes off his weights and does like a Rock Lee moment, right? Well, I think everyone is kind of anticipating that. Still hasn't happened yet. It was cool to see Margaret's seconds, though. And we are indeed Margaret's tartar sauce. I think that's been pretty much confirmed because Margaret loves white cream and boys anyways um innocent zero is invading during the tournament and walbrook has shown up i expect this episode to pop off but i have a feeling like the first like five minutes it's gonna be the ha huge action then the rest of the episode it's gonna be like more set up that's usually what happens though right let's begin today's reaction hello daddy he stops time walbrook could move though who the fuck are these goons behind? Now, we have seen the blonde dude, but what the fuck is the far left and far right guys, man? <laughs> Look at their hair. Boy, looks like a fucking broom. Mm, yeah. Son. Musko. So, like, we know so far that Mash is like an orphan, right? He was like basically just found in a baby crib before his dad, his, you know, not, not blood related dad, but, you know, our dad, the Baldi, picked him up before trying to jump off the fucking roof. That was actually a dark flashback. But it's like, why did he exist there, right? Who is his real parent? So, Innocent Zero really is Mash's real dad? I don't feel like it is. I feel like this is more figurative. I feel like Mash is like a test tube baby made by Innocent Zero. She wants to incorporate. Bro's Orochimaru trying to suck up Sasuke right now. Dumbledore! How can he move even though time has stopped? Walberg versus Innocent Zero incoming? How is Walberg moving even though time is frozen? They're really padding the extra time with these <laughs> reactions of different characters. I still don't trust this guy. Look at this guy! He straight up looks like a fucking broom. What? The dude in the middle, I mean. Bro is a fucking broom head and the guy on the right just has a bunch of skull anal beads. Two crosses. If you look at Innocent Zero, he got two lines, right? I don't know if it's only two lines, but you see like the arrows, right? It kind of looked like the clock arms, right? The clock has also an arrow and stopping time, you know, his powers. Is Wahlberg only a one-liner, really? I bet his beard is covering all the lines. 1v4? Well, it's not- he's just not batting an eye. It's like, how is he moving despite time-stopping magic, right? What do we know about Wahlberg? We saw him fight, like, once in, like, the beginning of Season 1 during Mash's, like, entrance exam, right? And Wahlberg could, like, summon weird fucking objects and shit but it's like all right mr scissor fingers is that you you got scissor magic what do you do that's what i'm talking about summoning you already dead no that was like intimidation that's like that could have happened if he like you know threatened that was like murderous intent right yeah 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 yeah, yeah. old man drops an act you're trying okay Hats off! Yo, it's some conquerors hockey shit! Mm. Are these really two lines though? I don't know! I'm surprised Wahlberg's not bald, man. He's got so much hair. Perfect human. Okay. He wants to be like immortal, forever youthful, strong. My family, sure. Your son? Supposed son? Literally though or figuratively? What do you mean? Who's the mom? Test you, baby? We are destined? Yo, is Innocent Zero as old as Wahlberg? It almost sounds like they were like long time ago, like childhood friends, maybe even rivals, right? We were destined to be truly incompatible. He trolled me! This fucking show trolled me again! Bro's about to go Bankai! 
<laughs> no, when Rain Amis was a two liner, what was it? Well, how are we told? We were told that, oh, a third line can activate when they use Bankai, right? So I assumed, okay, at very minimum, you have to have two lines showing base mode to be maybe considered a third liner. Bro, how many had one fucking line? I thought the extra lines were maybe hidden in his fucking beard. He's about to go fucking Bankai. <laughs> Oh, he's got lines too! Wait, does that count as four lines? No, so I guess his clock thing counts as one line. I don't know, maybe it's not even lines. It's a fucking arrow, right? Usually the lines are distinct fucking line. The arrow shape, I don't really know, but this is three lines at minimum, right? Bankai versus Bankai. That means that Wahlberg has one of the 13, right? No, does it work that way? No, 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 no. 13 ancient wands are separate. No, no. Rain Amis doesn't have one of the 13 wands. No, the ancient wands. No, 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 no. Right? No, 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 no. Right? Right? I'm, I'm, I'm right about it. Does Rain have a 13? I'm not really sure. Summons. Kronos. <laughs> one's a fucking planet. Sorry, one's a butthole. One's a planet. <laughs> the fuck? Just summon zombies? <clears throat> Uh, okay, we're back. We're back. Margaret's back too. Margaret can still fight. Now, I want to see. Some people have come back. Finn is still not safe, but look at this shit, right? Look at this shit, right? So, will he fight on our side? I don't know. This guy's super sus. He says that he's like, you know, protect us against Innocent Zero. Let's see if he actually proves it. Wait, Uranus? <laughs> Sorry. The butthole is the father of Kronos in mythology? So, technically, Wahlberg is Innocent Zero's dad in lore? And... Walbert could be Mash's grandfather then by that logic. I know that it's probably not like that, but interesting thing to think about. Alright, all the big boys are up. Here we go. I mean, these are random mobs, whoever. Yo, Dot's getting a lot of recognition. Wonder why only these people were freed from Walberg's power. Maybe Walberg specifically picked it. Okay, we got the Divine Visionaries of Kaku too. Oh shit! The Cursed Sword, right? But the flames never go out. Alright, Gara's helping out. Gara's helping out. Okay, okay. Oh, each one of those fucking mobs is double liner. Never mind. I, I don't know. I just saw them as like, they're just random NPC monsters. They just keep spawning from the ground. And each one of them is strong as a double liner. Yo, I think this guy has the coolest uh, aesthetical skills. I, I, if I wanted to be someone in this world, I would 100% want to be this divine visionary. His sword and the flames are so sick. I, I love it, like sword beam attacks. This is like the stuff that I would always pick. If you play Dragon Nest, there's like a class called Moon Lord that was like fucking do. You know, like Ichigo's like, you know, fucking uh, Getsuka Tensho, you know, sword beams. I guess the sword is his wand though, huh? That's how that works? I guess so. Where are we going? Alright, let's fight somewhere else. In the sky? <laughs> I mean, the fact Dot is like destroying these beings according like as strong as a two-liner in single attacks is kind of crazy. Maybe they're just brain dead though. So even though they're as strong, it's not like they are as strong, right? But they're so stupid. What the fuck? Oh, this guy again! Yeah, back in season one. What are you gonna do against this thing? Uh, this one's probably the strongest. Mash, do something. Wait, wait, what, excuse me? What, what did you just call him? What Did he just call him Sweet Little Mash? But none are going after Sweet Little Mash. I mean, we are his... We are their tartar, right? We're, we're Margaret's tartar sauce. <laughs> Sweet little mash. See, this is the feminine mode. 
They were saying, see, I thought this was like girl mode, right? She just said it's a woman's instinct, you know? I thought, you know, Margaret has like, you know, maybe like more masculine mode, feminine mode. But last episode, this is supposed to be like, like boy mode, like little, like show to me. I was like, what the fuck? What do you mean? No. And Mash will just punch it. Just punch it, bro. It looks like he's running away now. Just jump. Just jump. And yeah, we can hear like plain sounds whenever Mash runs. What's up? Long time no see. Or just punch it from the base. Do we need to climb it? What if we just kick it? Kick magic. <laughs> what is that game? It, uh, is this Mario Party or some other game? You know, you fucking kick the bottom thing and it keeps going down. And it's, we're basically chopping it one by one. <laughs> Daruma drop. All right, so that's their equivalent. All right, let's fight for real now. That was so rude. Bro took so much prep time setting that thing up. Mash just comes up, just kicks it all the way down. Imagine he was like, what the fuck? Are you serious, dude? No words. Oh, that's still up. I thought it would drop with us. Who are you? Who? <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, were you at the entrance ceremony? Oh yeah, you, you might be one of the students. No, he's from Innocent Student, remember? Remember season one finale? <laughs> <laughs> the amount of mental damage you just took. Uh, uh, oh, oh, oh. Finale. No? Yeah, at least he's saying I'm sorry. He just goes... <gasps> That's it? <laughs> okay. Why is there a baby on the field with two lines? No, don't trust it. Don't trust it. The baby is a bait. Babies. <laughs> baby. Baby. <laughs> so uh, this baby thing can like turn us into babies. Criminal Cage, you need to lock this motherfucker up right now. Put this dude back in jail. What in the fuck? Ain't no way a grown ass man that turns people into babies can wear a suit like that, dude. This is creepy as fuck. Shitter Baby, that's his name. Criminal Cage, Shitter Baby. Okay. Babu 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 Babu. Explode bomb. Uh, our powers are weakened now, too. Babu Babu. <laughs> he just runs away on the ground. Lance is also turned into Babu Babu. Not yet. Are you joking around? <laughs> you fucking around right now? Lance, you're supposed to help, bro. What the fuck? It looks like he's gonna use Graviol on Little Dot now. Oh, he dodged the babies. He dodged the babies. Just a baby, man. Seconds. Seconds. See, when in doubt, Guraviyur. What was that sound? Oh, he got baited. Babu Babu got baited. Babies. Babies. Uh, Babu? Babu. What are we doing, dude? What in the f what, what are we doing right now? Okay. Yeah, because you're babies. I love it when Lance says Babu because it sounds like he's like still grown. He's like Babu. Babu. Is anyone else here that can help us? Bro definitely fucking steals popsicles from kids and laughs at them. It's how, how fun it is to have a one-sided bullying of powerless creatures. <laughs> Bro, what are you wearing? Look at yourself. <laughs> Someone. Oh, Graviol, but Babu Boo. <laughs> Babu Boo. Graviol. So basically, if it's 10th of her power instead of... I, everywhere. It just focus on a specific moment. Maybe, you know, fucking Dot can do it too. Just focus it in the one location. Yeah. Just focus it into a tenth of the range. Yo. 
<laughs> so this is the top of her class. The genius. Lance Crown. If you showed this out of, you know, context, you know, manga panel or frame to anybody, they'd be like, what in the fuck are you watching? Yo, I want to see a Babubu seconds right now. Imagine Lance goes seconds in this Babu form. <laughs> Babubu. It sounds epic whenever he says Babu, though. This dude could have helped this entire time, bro. This dude could have fucking helped us. He just fucking watched his babies fucking struggle. And we're back. Okay, back to Innocent Zero Fight? No? Oh! He's gonna voice actor. Oh, Magic Realm was shaped by one great magic user. This is an important plot. Foundation, and who was that person? That's Wahlberg? Or Adam? Like Adam and Eve? Wait, how, 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 this dark magic. So he's like a, the foundation of the divine visionaries, the god, right? Adam. He looks like he's like a two-liner, right? Dark magic. Ah, okay. More plot, Wahlberg and Innocent Zero and... A third person that has a hood on. Who is this person, huh? So we got Wahlberg here, Innocent Zero on the left side, but there's a third student. We don't know that person yet. Okay, there's students of Adam. Who's the third? Okay. Nah, he's not gonna lose, right? Wahlberg wouldn't lose, right? What the fuck just happened? What's that? Where did his hair go? Where did his hair go? Bald! Bald! I thought, I, where did his lines go? Where did that? Wait, maybe that was all vision magic, and when he takes off the head, this is what he looks like, and he needs to absorb mass in order to get his face back. What the fuck? <laughs> bald! Oh! Oh. Oh, 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 you can selectively just do that? And, and I still don't understand these two lines, right? Because it looks like four lines, but the clock arm, the pointy arrow ones, do they count as one or two? I don't fucking know, man. But okay. So he can get rid of his face. He can manipulate his facial structure. Okay. Is it actually <laughs> Dio? Have you abandoned your humanity? That's right, Jojo. Are you sure? I mean, human beings do have deep desires. Seven deadly sins, greed. How is he your son again? And the second one is... Ah, shit. Wahlberg wouldn't die, right? He wouldn't die, right? More time magic. Living dead? That was such a long animation. What the fuck? What are these holes? This looks like some kind of abyss gate, man. Looks like a ceiling gate, dude. A forbidden spell. Who know what the fuck that is? But this looks like one of those, you know, the magic that can just like, you know, abyss magic. Or like in cautious here, what was that? Valkyrie magic? Remember the gate, abyss gate? Like, holy shit. I don't remember you, bro. Who are you? <laughs> I'm serious. Who? Cream puff. <laughs> to match everyone is just a cream puff. <laughs> Maybe he's so hungry he needs to have a cream puff right now. He's delusional. Uh oh. No, I don't remember. Oh, yeah, that. That was like a season one finale. Is that gonna make Mash angry? Or is Mash gonna be like, who? <laughs> who? <laughs> nah, we gonna be the one doing the penetration. Come on, you gonna fucking cliffhanger me there? What the fuck is happening? Why is he shocked? Why, why, why are we looking up right now? What, what did Mash do? Uh-oh. What? What? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, if, if you remember, remember the, the Quidditch match? Remember he, he was flying in midair by doing the feet. So this is actually is not that impossible. It's not that impossible. <laughs> I 
I would be pretty mad too. If I was not doing it, I fucking kept using Copper Rain and this dude was fucking running like this on kind of cartoon, I'd be pretty mad too. It's not fair! Ooh! Ooh! Is he done? One shot? No, no, no. Why? Because he's the main character. Yeah, this time he's running on them. Oh! He remembered! Bro, what are you talking about? Same thing twice, you've been spamming the fucking same cream puff jokes, and all you fucking do is just beat people with your punches. <laughs> More in mental damage. And that is another episode of MASH, and just as goofy as we would expect it, with a lot of plot, a lot of hype shit. So, what did we learn this episode? And this is Zero, Wahlberg, and another hooded figure, or students of Adam who is supposed to be the foundation of Divine Visionaries, right? And Adam basically trained them, something happened. And there's a third hooded figure. Who knows who this person could be, kind of gets you hyped up for the future, right? Innocent Zero basically should be as old as Wahlberg, but he's kind of like throwing away his humanity. Or rather, he is the most human of them all because he has such deep desires, right? And he's somehow able to like just change his facial structure. I don't fucking know, man. Seeing Wahlberg three line was pretty hype. Innocent Zero, obviously, it's expected that he's a three liner, right? Well, I don't really know. Is this four lines or is it three lines? And yes, there were the Babu Babu moments. This show sometimes gets me so off guard because I'm trying to like enjoy the hype shit, then they start doing random Babu Babu shit. It's just like what the fuck. But you know, comedy is like a focus point of this anime. And remember, we have this guy showing up too, right? We have Mr. Skuna's voice actor, Divine Visionary, the King of Light coming in. So should be pretty hyped next episode. Please don't cuck us. But that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.